just a lost weather balloon. An Air Force spokesman confirms tonight that this was no flying saucer.
This is a real quick video for the UFO Imperial team. Um, we've moved our equipment inside because, sorry, I was getting quite frustrated working out in the heat. Anyway, what we have here, of course, we have our UFO motor, our generator head, and just for later on, possibly a 100 watt light bulb uh, to give you a test. I'm using uh, John Stone's superior driver circuit. Uh, I've taken out the two DC-DC converters that I was uh, had in place uh, for another design that I was thinking of and uh, just because I know Dana you're going to ask uh, what, what I've got on the back of the circuit you can actually see I've stuck a, a big old thick piece of copper wire from drain to source uh, it, to, to, to the terminal uh, uh, to connect up to the motor on, 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 on both sides. So there's that in addition to the wide trace that I have. Um, but that's the additional cut copper that I've added. And it all seems to be happy. Let's see, let's put this here. Um, so we have down here our, our, our two uh, timing or you know fit, 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 fit driving circuits uh, the monster driver Johnstone wonderful design um, far superior to anything I've ever thought of um, now one thing we are doing in place of the neon across the drain and source of the fat uh, for protection uh, this is an experiment back here I've got four batteries uh, with backwards diodes on, on across the drain source and we're seeing if possibly we can charge these batteries this fifth battery over here is in fact running uh, the Johnstone monster drivers and of course the whole thing is being ran by my Arduino uh, just to show you that it can run um, well actually let's let's sh sh show you this first coming off the positive of all, all the motors we're we're run, running down here uh, on this wire. We go through a current meter, just to show you that, and then off down to our batteries down here. And of course, come back up to negative. Uh, we got four switches on each gate, uh, so we can turn them off, emergency, you know, type thing. And we're coming up here. So right now they are off. So I'm going to. Uh, power up the Arduino and show you that uh, by varying this pot I can get the little uh, individual gates to fire in, 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 the, in the sequence that they'll uh, go in and of course I can turn the pot up faster and faster until they appear to be on but in fact they're just being turned on and off very rapidly. Um, so I'll preset it to somewhere I know the motor likes to run. Right at the moment, uh, I'm using the quad uh, quad blink program uh, in in this. Tomorrow, I hope to 
run it with the other other version of the program to see comparison difference. And of course we have uh, zero amps on our amp meter and 75 volts on our batteries. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, and what I'm going to do is sort of aim up here at the motor and then flip them all off because of course when it first starts there's a bright exciting spark uh, but that's to be expected um, but it quiets right down there's uh, not any r really spark at all anyway during the run what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll pan down here I'll show you the av average current that it's drawing and then I'll come back up over here and I'll plug in this 100 watt light bulb in, into the generator head uh, and then we'll come back down here and we'll see how much current it's running um, so that's sort of the game plan of this real quick thing oh and of course uh, the other thing we'll do is uh, we have a R RPM meter here uh, and we'll, we'll aim it at the shaft and uh, see how many RPM it's turning. It'll be around 3600 uh, at the at the uh, voltage that I got here, 75 volts. Um, okay. So, we're aiming up at the motor, and I'm going to switch on all the grounds. So it gets a, it's a little noisy, uh, but I'll try to describe what I'm doing as as it goes. So here we go. Okay, so the thing was turning about 3600 RPM, uh, ran 100 watt light, um, didn't have too much of a current increase while doing it, and um, it's down to 74.2 volts at the moment, but actually I've, I've noticed that after the batteries rest for a minute the voltage starts to recover. In fact, you already see it's at 72.3. Uh, we'll just watch it a minute longer and uh, up 74.4 it's going going back up um, can't say enough for the Johnstone drivers they are superior uh, they work <clears throat> really 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 work great and uh, so hopefully tomorrow I'll stick in the other version of the program into my uh, Arduino here and we'll run similar tests um, but I've I've already recorded uh, not on this video but uh, prior to it uh, of course I had you know six 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 batteries here for the 74.5 that's went up another tenth um, volts and, and actually I'll, I'll be posting a chart uh, 
I, I, I ran it with one, two, three, four, five, five and six batteries for all the way from 12 volts to whatever, and I'll show the RPM and, and current readings uh, for, for all those. And um, tomorrow when we're running two, I hope to put more load in it than just a 100 watt light bulb and see what that does to the current draw. Um, didn't really seem to affect it too much now. You couldn't even, when I plugged it in, barely a perceptible change in the RPM, as you probably heard. So uh, let me get this posted and uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll do more. So UFO, this is a, a, a wonderful design on, on, on the motor, works great. Uh, John Stone, your board works great. Uh, and the only thing different in my setup to uh, it, it right at the moment is just my experiment for how to not, not use an NE2 across the drain source, but use some batteries and see if they'll charge up. I don't know if that's good yet or not, haven't studied it long enough. Uh, we'll do a longer motor run and <clears throat> see where all the individual meters go from there. So that's, that's where we are today, team. I'll post this and go from there. Thanks a lot.